Okay, for the paint, I'm using a Paradise paint, which is a water-activated face paint um, in lime green. I had a little bit left over from one of my last videos, so I figured what was an easy green look to do. And I feel like this is so easy because it's literally just painting your face green. You don't even really have to do like a lot of eyeshadow work or anything if you didn't want to. So it's, it's super easy. So I just painted my whole face green and it's kind of hard with these. I'm not very good at water base paints, but it's kind of hard to get it a lot more opaque. So I switched brushes to a harder brush just for under my eyes because I really wanted it to be opaque there. So I switched brushes and that worked a lot better than the one that I was using. So really it was just his face all the way down to, not even down to his neck, just to his chin. And I'm taking off my earrings because his ears were green too in the movie. And yeah, it's really, it's really hard to get it out of your ears. So I hate when I have to do my ears, but yeah, so I just put covered my ears. And then the rest of the face is pretty simple. I mean... I did my eyebrows pretty pretty normal. I just used a black eyeshadow and just really did it fast because I knew I was going to wear a hat that kind of was really low. So I didn't really take too much time on them. And then I did skip and kind of figure out what I was going to do with the first eye because I wasn't really sure. So I'm putting on some extra large lashes because I don't remember the movie too much. But I know everything was almost like um, exaggerated. So I used a, which I'll try to insert a clip. I used a dark matte green eyeshadow and with a blending brush I just blended that into my crease again I'm not really going super into detail I'm just kind of doing it really fast so I just blended that into my crease so really the only eyeshadows I'm using are a matte dark green and then a matte yellow eyeshadow oh and then also a matte black eyeshadow so after I get that into my crease, I'm going to go in with the matte yellow shade and I'm going to highlight my brow bone. Using a yellow kind of highlights better on top of a green. So I'm using that to highlight and then I'm going to also put that on my eyelid. And then just to add a little bit more definition, I added a little bit of the matte black eyeshadow into the outer corner crease. And then just, I added, um, basically to the bottom lash line, I did the exact same thing. I added a little bit of the dark green shadow. And then just to finish everything off, I did add a black wing eyeliner and also black to my waterline. And again, the lashes were super super long. Um, they are from the Lash Bar LA. Then just to do a little bit of contouring to my face, I added the same dark uh, matte green shadow that I used for my eyes. I did, the, I did the exact same thing with the contour. I used that product and I just did where I normally contour my cheekbones. And I didn't really focus too much on my forehead because I knew I was going to be wearing a hat that covered it. 
and then just to darken up the contour just a little bit I felt like it needed to be a little bit darker so I added just a little bit of the matte black but I kind of um hit tapped it on my hand a little bit to get most of the product off and then I applied it and I thought I was going a little bit too dark so I kind of tried to take a little bit of it off but I just left it so then I um I did also did my nose with this and then my neck as well my jawline as well And then I wanted to try a little bit of highlighting. So again, I used the yellow shade, the matte yellow shade that I used for my eyes and just put a little bit on my cheeks, just a little bit because I wasn't sure how well it was going to look. So I did it very lightly on my chin because he did have like a really big chin. So um, I did that and then all your typical areas, you highlight cheekbones, nose, and a little bit on the forehead. So for the lips, I started out with a dark green eyeliner pencil, but I wasn't liking it because it was a little too shimmery for me. He did have like more of a gray black lip. So after I did that, after I tried it, I realized I wasn't liking it. So I just went in with a little bit of black face paint and went over my lips with that. And then for the outfit, I will link the blazer and the hat that I got. Um, in the description box that's pretty much all you need other than a tie I did have a tie but it didn't really fit me right and it looked too big so I just ended up leaving it out but he does wear another outfit that would be cool it's like a striped black and white shirt you could always get that with a little I think it's like a little thing red thing around his neck but I just chose the yellow blazer and hat that he wears so yeah Super easy look. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Get him. Go get him.